Today I'm going to read a story called A Turkey for Thanksgiving by Eve Bunting, illustrated by Diane de Groot. A Turkey for Thanksgiving. It was Thanksgiving morning. Mr. Moose helped Miss Moose set the Thanksgiving table. Sheep will sit here. He likes a chair that's straight up and down, Mr. Moose said. Rabbit here. Porcupine here. Mr. and Miss Goat here. He smiled at his wife. Isn't it nice to have friends to share Thanksgiving? Miss Moose set two paper pilgrims one at each end of the table. She placed the paper turkey with its great fan of a tail between the candles and stood back. They look good, my dear, Mr. Moose said. Miss Moose sighed. Yes, but I wish we had a real turkey. Everyone always has a turkey for Thanksgiving. Everyone but us. Mr. Moose nuzzled Miss Moose's head. Well, that won't do. I will go this minute and find you a turkey for Thanksgiving. Mr. Moose put on his cap and went out. Mist wandered through the bare trees. The cold made his nose water. Rabbit poked his head from his rabbit hole. Mr. Moose, is it dinner time? Not quite yet. Miss Moose wants a turkey. I'm off to find one. Rabbit joined him in three quick hops. I'll come too. Moose's warm breath hung white in front of him. Snow crunched under his hooves and made little holes that Rabbit jumped over. I see the goats, Rabbit said. Mr. Goat raised his head and spat out the tin can he was chewing. Is it dinner time? He called. Not till I find a turkey, Mr. Moose said. We saw one down by the river. Miss Goat told him, and Mr. Goat added, a fat one. The goats leaped down from their perch. We'll show you. Sheep was farther up the hillside, looking round as a fur ball in his winter coat. Is it dinner time? He bellowed. First, I have to find a turkey, Mr. Moose bellowed back. There's a turkey nest on the riverbank, she called. Wait for me. The earth smelled of ice and moss as they crunched along. Above them a crow hung, black as a puff of wood smoke. Porcupine was hiding in the underbrush. It's you, he said and put his quills down. We're off to get a turkey for Miss Moose. Mr. Moose explained. Do you want to come? I'm slow, Porcupine said. Pick me up on your way back. Who'd want to pick you up? Sheep asked and laughed his bleat of a laugh. I'll wait, Porcupine told Mr. Moose. They saw Turkey's nest right away and Turkey himself peering over the top of it. Turkey, Turkey! Mr. Moose called in his sweetest voice. Ah! Turkey blundered from his nest and ran. Mr. Moose lumbered after him. Turkey, don't run. We just want you for Thanksgiving dinner. Turkey ran faster. Do not disturb. Come back after Thanksgiving. No turkey here. Mr. Moose saw the red and blue sheen of Turkey's neck. Turkey's tail brushed crumbs of snow behind him as he tried to fly. Too fat, Mr. Goat said. Turkey's legs bent in the middle as he fell. Mr. Moose put a booted hoof on his head and smiled his great toothy smile. I hope you don't have other plans for Thanksgiving, Turkey. He helped Turkey up. My wife won't mind that you're too fat, he said. Let's go. It's getting close to dinner time. They marched Turkey in front. 
I'm sorry about this, for I can see you don't want to come, Mr. Moose said, but I must insist. A promise is a promise. There was a wreath of dried fruit on the moose's door. Inside the house was filled with Thanksgiving smells. Mr. Moose hid turkey behind him. Look who I brought, Miss Moose, he said. Sheep, the goats, rabbit, and porcupine. And ta-da! He pushed turkey around in front of him. For you, a turkey for Thanksgiving. Miss Moose clapped her hoofs. I'm so happy to have you, Turkey. Thank you, Mr. Moose. Now everything's perfect. Shall we sit? Sheep asked, heading for the straight up and down chair. Let's, Miss Moose pointed. Rabbit here, porcupine here, Mr. and Miss Goat here, and look, I brought a chair from the other room in hopes of a turkey. Uh... A chair? Turkey stammered. Right next to me, Miss Moose said. Light the candles, Mr. Moose. There were bowls of acorns and alfalfa sprouts, dried since summer. There was willow bark and cured grasses and wild parsley. There were pressed leaves, thin and pale, as new ice on a pond. I hope you find something here to your liking, Mr. Turkey, Miss Moose said. I wasn't sure of your taste. You are so kind to worry about my taste, Turkey said. I thought you'd be worrying about how I'd taste. Heavens no, Mr. Moose smiled his big tooth smile and filled everyone's cup with cold spring water. It's so nice to have friends around the table at Thanksgiving. Turkey's waddles wobbled. It's even nicer to be at your table and not on it, he said. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving, Turkey. The end.